there's nothing like snapping an epic shot. We all strive for those perfect, portfolio-worthy images. The build-up to such an image can be frustrating and time-consuming. When we don't succeed, we can't help but be buried in feelings of failure. I do my best to try and turn the exhausting negativity into a challenge, a project, something to work on, but the constant desire for perfection itches away at my skin, and I've had enough of it. The joy of photography for me comes from the process of creating and the exploration of the locations. I absolutely love to get into the nooks and crannies of a place to see what I can find. Most of the time on location I have good experiences, but typically it's those stressful moments that seem to stick with you. Dips in motivation are very, very normal, but for me personally, when that happens, my inner perfectionist really comes out. And boy, is she picky. Most of the time when we are going out for photography, we are either scouting or idea building. Now, realistically, the days where we get perfect weather, perfect conditions and those perfect shots are very few and far in between. So to expect that every single time you go out and then to be disappointed and stressed and upset that you didn't get that is very out of touch and is kind of self-torture in a way. A few weeks ago I took an image of a tree on this trail and I came back to recapture it. One, because I wanted to show you it, had a most beautiful curve in the tree trunk, and two, because I thought that maybe this low cloud and rain would bring a bit more atmosphere to the scene. I'm walking up and down this trail and I, I, I can't find this tree. It's not there. But it must be there because I have photographed it. And then I realise the one tree that has been cut down, the one tree out of all of these trees that has been cut down is the one tree that I wanted to photograph. <laughs> I didn't walk down this trail far enough. It's, it's right there. The tree's right there. The, the tree's fine. It's not particularly atmospheric, it's, it's fine. If I look at my photography in terms of skill building and inspiration searching, I can't really get disappointed about bad images because it's part of the process. Not every image is going to be my best. Sometimes it's a good, sometimes it's a shit. But when I do get a cracking shot, it makes it all the more exciting because instead of being relieved I am not a failure today, I'm just genuinely happy. There is no failing, only winning or learning.
You may have seen this view on my channel before. I have big dreams for this landscape. But perfection light-wise here seems to be a rarity. The sun rises far to the left and sets far to the right, and even if it's just slightly too cloudy, the light doesn't seem to reach this beautiful hill here. Whenever I come to this location, I have to just push that ideal image out of my brain and just focus on what I've been presented with instead. Each photographer has different interests and ways of interpreting a location, and I think that is what sets us all apart. When you learn what you are drawn to, what currently inspires you creatively, you can start to stand out from others. In the process of finding these things, you'll experiment, learn from mistakes, grow, and at some point, succeed. We did get a little bit of light and colour, but again, it just still didn't reach this hill. But that is enough from me today. A nice, simple video, as I have been feeling a bit under the weather recently. And so I have the energy of a biscuit that has been dipped in a cup of tea for just a second too long. Anyway, enough of my waffling. I will see you next time. Mm. It's a bit dry. <laughs>